Peace. Easy, boys. Uh... So, with match one getting started with Zero T and this Orange Juice. Oh, Jason. Jason. Wait, Jason. Yeah. Jason with Zero T. That, that, that's very confusing. <laughs> I'm assuming, that, dirty here. I'm assuming that's not a name that Jason originally registered, um, um, or at least like I'm, had like had expected to use it long. Um, uh, definitely have seen Jason play. I want to say in the MMC doubles anniversary tournament recently. I want to say it was the same thing, but uh, it, definitely not an unfamiliar gesture's username here. Uh, as we see, Jason taking a quick. Quick little start here in this set. Um, so much, much like some of the previous other games, Zero T has been in, uh, where he's, you know, kind of the speedster of the match. You know, this time it's not so. Uh, Jason is definitely someone capable of equaling with Zero T speed, uh, and perhaps with sometimes more efficiency. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how Zero T will have to respond, sort of, in his gameplay here. You can definitely see that he's failed. Like it's it's not really yet, but you can already see that he's already starting to shift um to like survival. But unless Ooh, you get those games like that, where you just go mad. Wow. Yeah. So you can see pumping out three times the APM as Jason isn't quite able to find a down stack there. Jason pumping out the perfect clear. And just really keeping the pressure on Zero T to, at the absolute top. Trying to help me. Jason's pressure is just way too much this early. Zero T can't really deal with it yet. Jason's Finally playing at a nice brisk four and a half PPS here, actually, in that segment. And he's still going. He's still going, ladies. Absolute efficiency bomb, almost 200 attack per minute. Just like an indefensible just attack. Like, really, oh, what do you that... even do against that kind of stuff? You, you wait for that to happen. The double J misdrop, yeah. Real kind of catching Jason in a really bad position. Uh, bringing it up to 2 4 in this set. Jason leading. Looking at how he can get. Up to that PPS, I'm very scared for Zero T all of a sudden. It's definitely time to get something going if I'm Zero T. You know, I, I'm trying to get something going as soon as I can. Oh, that's oh, a bad set two of T drops. pieces. He's sort of found his way out of it now. The matter is just surviving Chase Wrath. Oh, but that team is dropped. Jason but not okay. really finding any monumental sins right now. Any crazy fight? Just a consistent stream of to really keep Zero T pushed out right now. Yeah, Zero T has been saved by luck not once but twice in one match. And now that he's been giving free reign to do this, Jason is unable to capitalize on any counters for the for the absolute chaos that zero has just unleashed yeah zero t able to catch jason at just the right time push him back up when you when you see when you see zero t in situations where he's got like a really bad board you might as underestimate him at first, but give him a few, give him a few seconds, and he will take that bad board and he will clean it up. He will spike. He will make sure you regret even thinking. And that's prominent in almost all his wins from last match and that and last set as well. He's looking to do that again. Jason really just kind of throwing it out right now. Uh, 
that LP is kind of going to be a difficult moment for him to work through as he gets dangerously high to the top. And Zero Table even the score out. 4-4, four, four, taking two in a row here. I think you can actually start to see Zero T experiment as well. You, you see, you're starting to see him slowed down a lot as well. I've, I've started noticing that as I've watched his game. And I think this is something something that a lot of players can just playing slower and adapt, adapting. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't really look like it's really hurting him right now. Him and Jason kind of in almost equal position on the board here. Jason making a nice H, though. Uh, nice H with that skiff, unfortunately. Not able to clear it out in time. Zero T maintaining the pressure and gets him out of the top. And he actually takes... Uh... Nice quick fix from... But that gives Jason a bit Ooh. more garbage, but Some that clean garbage. And Jason returns it immediately. Not yeah, so these, clean anymore. These two, these two are just scary clean players. You, you're expecting to see back to back fly left, right, and center. There's going to be yeah, no way to it. This is some of the first with cheesing out we've seen from both players, and it's well halfway into the set. Jason's still playing above three and a half pieces per second. Still just absolutely flying in this set. Just maintaining that constant speed. Yet Zero T still finding slightly more efficient attack right now. Which is, it's really insane considering how, how Swiss his board is actually. And he's just managing to clean it up like it's nothing. Yeah, quite often it's it's not necessarily the cleanest garbage, especially in this set with or this this match with some of the cheese being thrown finally. Oh, but that oh, T that's piece, that hung T is going to be real bad. That's going to be the critical moment when the pressure from Jason can get through. Great big opening spike from Zero T here as he gets this LST stacking really going on to Jason. It's now what's clean. helping Jason? What's helping Jason is that a lot of these aren't on the sides, so he's able to just use everything instead of having that eyepiece. But that you can't you can't discredit Zero T for his pressure as well. It's just insane. Yeah, really. This is you, you can tell that this is one really pressure-heavy game when you see both players kind of making just a single misdrop, and that's it. Like it's just. That puts them at such the deficit, and they're starting to clear. They get pushed right out. But uh, to, to zero T, that does not matter. He finds a way to get out of it, and he's still pressuring. Yeah, that PC return, very, very competent from zero T. Big return. Absolutely, what he needed to find there. Oh, but that's a big spike from Jason. Zero T is on the edge right now. Yeah, and Jason, and Jason continuing trying... with the pressure. But Zero just spikes it all back! Yeah, and going with the super it... risky triple. What is even going on? Zero T manages to take wow. it to final points! Tiebreaker is in the air, boys! That's the first tiebreaker we've seen in the stream. Yeah, wow, and you, like, you, see, you see Zero T kind of going for it at the end with some of those risky maneuvers, like triple real... Real scary maneuver there, but it gives him that absolute edge at the end. Just when he needs to send a little bit more pressure, to finally even that score out. When we say these players are scary, we are not kidding. Absolutely, Jason again giving it his all with another 4 plus PPS round. Really trying to go through right now. 
Oh, that's it's... a bad miss drop. Zero T down on. Wait, is he able to escape out of this? No, he's a piece too late. And Jason oh. only barely takes it out of Zero T's clutch. And he moves on to round six, taking Zero all the way down to losers. Absolutely brilliant play from the both of them. Yeah, wow, what a finishing, what a finishing blow right there, truly. Uh, as you can see, 40 seconds feels like an eternity when we see these players playing this fast. And just the one mistake can be enough, really. That one mistake can, it can be all it takes to just ruin the flow.